Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today I'm going to talk about relation of metric and a normed space. And why I'm making a video on this because this relation is very important in connecting normed and Banach spaces and to understand them more easily. So talking about metric space, so, so there is a video on this and the link will be in the description or in the card so you can check it. And precisely speaking, metric space gives us the feel of distance among its elements. And the relation between norm space and metric space is... Now we are going to see the proof of this claim that every normed linear space is a metric space. So if we have a function d such that d is a function from n cross n to r where in the previous video we have used the notation n for the norm spaces so this function takes a pair from the norm space and maps it to a real number now this function d is defined as d of x y is equal to norm of x minus y where x and y are taken from the norm space so this is a function d from n cross n taking the Cartesian product and gives us a real number that is the norm of the difference of two elements of n and Now the target is to show D as a metric uh, because we have defined a function and Use the sense of a metric I uh, use the sense of the distance among the elements of the two two elements of the space n so now this is the main relation of the metric and a norm space and proving this relation that is between norm and matrix space is true we have to show the basic three properties of matrix space that very first is of non negativity the second one is of symmetry and the third one is of triangular inequality now we'll talk about it individually on the behalf of this matrix that was defined on a norm space so talking about the very first property of a matrix space that it should be the matrix should be greater than or equal to zero that at least it can give us zero and cannot give us a negative value so by the definition of a norm x minus y norm that it cannot be negative by definition of norm we can say that this function dxy is equal to norm of x minus y is greater than or equal to zero but it can be zero so if the function gives us a zero value and this function equal to this norm so we can write here that norm of x minus y is zero and here again using the property of a norm space that if a norm is equal to zero then the element is eventually equal to zero and then we have the two elements are equal so this is the very first property of a matrix space that a function must be positive and if the function is zero then the two elements whose distance are considering here must equal to each other so the first property is satisfied here now moving toward the second property second property is about symmetry so if the function is defined here and if we take the negative sign common from this thing then this will be equal to so we know that when we are saying that absolute value of a is equal to a if a is positive and absolute value of minus a will be negative of a will be a as well so here this is the case that we are going to consider that negative of element that we're going to take the norm is is negative of the element so this will be equal to norm of y minus x and this is by definition equal to d of y x so here d of x y is equal to d of y x and this is the symmetry in this function when a function is defined in norm space in such a way that d of x y is equal to norm of x minus y so the second property is also satisfied here now moving toward the third property so function is defined in such a way that if we take the two elements from the norm space then we have a norm of the difference of the two functions so we can also write it as d of x and z and we can get the norm of x minus z so for proving the triangular inequality we have to take the three elements from the norm space let's take x y and z and 
now we'll take the function on we'll apply the function on x and z and we'll use x y pair cartesian product and y and z to check that whether it satisfies the triangular inequality or not so we have dx z must be equal to x minus z norm and we can also write it here x minus z plus y minus y and we can form a pair of x and minus y and y and minus z because we know that there is a symmetry in it so there is nothing to worry about what comes on the first place and what come on the second so now using the triangular inequality of the norm space we can write it as norm of x minus y plus the norm of y minus z so x minus y the norm of x minus y is equal to dxy and y minus z must be equal to d of y and z so we have d on xz must be less than on d of xy plus d of yz and this is the triangular inequality of a matrix space so all of the three properties of being a matrix is satisfied by this function so this function is indeed a metric on a norm space so we have proved that every norm space is a metric space but every metric space is not a norm space the converse is not true but we can say that every norm space is a metric space by this function and this is for now we're looking for more such videos and you can subscribe to this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye